Hey guys, Ken here, and I am back with another product review. What is it? Uh, it's, it's in this box right here. Yes. So without further ado, let's break out the knife edge and let's get this bad boy open. Duh. Perfect. Now, yeah. that wasn't the perfectest cut, was it? All right, so what do we have inside the box? What's in the box? Oh, what's in the box? Well, we've got bubble stuff. You don't need that. And then on top of that, great. That would be it. I've got the Aula. Let's see if that's right. Center that in the camera. Is that right? The Aula F2088 Game Mechanical Keyboard. Yes, I'm not a gamer, but I like the clickety-clackety noises of the, the keyboard, so I, I decided to get it. Let's open and see what we get in the box. Kind of some cool graphics on here. Not too shabby. All right, so first things first in the box. Let's see what we've got. We've got... You know, and again, I'm not a keyboard guy, but I'm thinking that this is probably a key puller? Maybe? Okay, we'll set that guy right there. Yeah, I mean... Cool. All right, I've got a braided-esque cable. All right. All twist-tied together. And then I've got the keyboard Ooh. of itself in here. All right, in this beautifully preserved bubble wrap container. Let's open this guy up a little bit here. All right. Bubble wrap be gone. There you go. That is, wow, that is stunning. I like that. I'm making a lot of noise. I apologize. Let's see what else do we have in here. Um, oh, it's, it's, uh, I think this is the magnetic armrest, uh, hand rest. Yeah. So you can see here, what do we get? Uh, just a little piece of plastic. You get some rubber feet down here at the bottom. And then I think it should just, yeah, it just pretty much snaps right onto the bottom of the keyboard. All right. Now, still digging on what's in the box. Let's set this over here for a second. And furthermore, we have, wow, a rather large accordion set of paperwork instructions. Um, user manual. Uh, this would be the English slash Chinese version, I believe. Yep, Chinese on the back. Cool. All right. We will go through this at a later time when we actually do the product review of itself, in and of itself. All right. Let's get rid of the box. Let's put the keyboard down here. And let's go ahead and take a look. There is nothing else in the box. Nothing else. Cool. That would be it. Throw this off to the side. Let's move this forward just a little bit. Let's go ahead and pull this guy and set it right there. That doesn't look too bad at all. That actually is not bad. I like the way it feels. Okay. Yes, I'm holding out for a minute. Uh, I'm not going to clickety-clack the keys. You might have heard a little bit before. I kind of gave it away. But um, I'm going to say this is a good six-foot length in the cable here. And I'm going to give her a quick install onto let me back out one of these off my keyboard and shazam that is ooh i kind of like this this is not too shabby at all let's go ahead and get started here i'm i got a word document open so i'm just going to start typing um Let's see what's going on over here. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, game mode. All right. That's kind of cool. Let's switch out of that. Go back to here. Another further setup of a game function. All right. Yeah. The, the WASD is, is lit up for gaming side. Then you get, of course, all your different colored keys. Ooh. Oh, I see. 
and then you get brightness. I don't know if you can see that. And then of course the the lights here flash when it when you are uh, fully as bright as you can go. But you can turn that down to almost nothing. Turn it up to a light light color, light color, and then all the way up to as far as it will go, and then it will let you know. Are they independent individual RGBs? It appears not. Okay, so I guess it was really interesting is that these light up as you type. That's really cool. But the RGBs, they're, 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 in, they're single colors inside each cell. I don't think that these change colors. Yeah. No, they don't change colors at all. These guys stay green. These guys stay yellow. These are red on the outside. Purple and purple related to gaming. So your gaming arrows are purple here and purple over here. And then, of course, your function keys are all a different color. Uh, let's check something real quick. Yes. So as you can see here, possibly, I, I couldn't be further away from the camera. I apologize. But those are blue, blue switches. That's really nice. They, they, they seem pretty, pretty nice. All right, so now that I've unboxed this, I just want to give you guys, uh, which I do in occasions, okay, on occasion, which I'll do on occasion here, is uh, my initial thoughts on this. Uh, I mean, it's got, um, it's got some decent plastic pieces on here. I mean, this is a little bit cheaper, uh, but it's not the cheapest I've ever seen, and it's pretty solid. I do like, this is just the armrest or the, the, the wrist rest. Um, you do have the keyboard here, as I'm bringing up in here. You can see underneath, and I'm showing here in the camera, uh, while the lights do not independently change colors themselves, it does not appear to be so, so far. Um, they are pretty bright, vibrant. Um, I've got a light shining on from the side here. I've got a light over here, and I've got a light up on behind me, and I can still pretty much see this keyboard um, with all these lights on. It's pretty nice. It's, it's relatively bright. It's pretty nice. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and run this with my, my work computer to see how this goes. Um, I like the sound. Um, I, I think it's pretty cool. Um, I think that the, the key retro style looks really cool. It doesn't affect me so far that I can tell when I'm typing on this. What I'm going to do is obviously I'm going to go through and do my, my standard uh, product review on this when I go through this. Uh, device using it on a daily basis for a period of time. I'll let you know what I think after a little while. I'll give you um, obviously what it is, the price, who's it for, obviously, uh, what's so good, what's good about it, what's not so good about it, and of course my final thoughts on this. Currently as it stands right now, I think this is going to be a pretty decent keyboard. It sounds, wow, it sounds really good. All right, guys, uh, let me know what you think of the review. Uh, tell me if you, if you want more out of this review, if you, you want me to you know, cover any special features. Um, but I, uh, I will also put down below, if I hadn't said before, I'll put the link. Uh, I am not, not sponsored. I paid for this out of my own pocket. And as well, um, I, I do not have an Amazon link or anything like that. So the link that I put down below, it's just going to be a link. Um, for you to go get this and take a look at it and check it out for your, yourself if you, if you like it. And with that, without further ado, I do appreciate your time. I thank you and appreciate it. Again, let me know what you think uh, and do me a favor. Give me a thumbs up on that down there below, okay? And if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe. really do appreciate it. Thank you. Peace.